Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a quick look at the axle spindle for your 5,200 pound axles up to your 7,000 pound axles. So this is going to be a great way to replace a worn out or damaged spindle on your trailer axle rather than having to replace the entire thing. If that axle is fine, if there's no real damage to that support underneath your trailer, why take it off when you can just cut off the spindle and replace that? So. That's what this is going to allow us to do, or you can also use this to create your own custom axle for your trailer as well. So either way, this is a weld on application, it does have that just plain flush cut at the back so you can weld that in place. And it's not a bad idea as well whenever you're putting this on to get a new setup uh, of bearings, seals, races for riding on top of this axle spindle. That's a lot of times where that wear can be found. Um, transferring from one to the other so if there's been gouges in the spindle there's a good chance that there's going to be gouges on the races and bearings of your um, hub assembly so we'll go over how to find those in just a second and let's take a closer look at our spindle and make sure it's the right one for you so it does come with the cotter pin the castle nut and the washer to hold everything in place and you can see a nice new shiny spindle there as far as the stub end or where you would weld it onto your existing axle, that has a diameter of two and a quarter inch. Turn it so you can see that a little bit more clearly. Two and a quarter inch there. The total length going from outer edge to outer edge at the very end of our spindle to the same spot on the other side, it's right about 11 inches long. The capacity for our spindle is going to be 3,500 pounds. So again, it can work for any kind of trailer axle between 500 or 5,200 pounds up to 7,000 pound trailer axles since you're going to have one of these at either end and it's not a bad idea to get two of these at a time and um, have everything wearing the same. But if you only need one, then you can just cut off what you need and replace it with this one. Now, as far as those bearings, races, and seals, as I mentioned, you can find all the specs for the, what you would need and the part numbers right here at eTrailer.com on our product page. That'll give you a complete list of those parts, and you can find each of those individual components here at eTrailer.com as well. So again, if you want to get everything nice and fresh and new to go on to your new spindle, that is a great way to do it and get all those new components to go with it while you're here. So. I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is going to be the right spindle for you. Again, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.